Good day everyone. In this video lesson, we'll discuss all about stocks. Stocks are shares in the ownership of the company. So, ang tatandaan lang natin, it's all about shares. So, let's say, si company A, merong 100 shares. And then, uh, bibili ka ng isang share from the 100 shares. So, ibig sabihin, pag-aari mo na yung 1%, no? 1% nung company. So, ibig sabihin, yung tawag sa'yo, kapag uh, bumibili ka ng stock, it's uh, stockholders or shareholders. So, pag sinabi natin stocks, ibig sabihin class, uh, ito ay, it's like uh, equity financing, kung saan, it's about raising money by allowing the investor to be part owners of the company. So, Yan po yung stocks. So, meron tayong dalawang klase ng stocks. So, that is the common stocks and then the preferred stocks. So, both of them, no, both of the two types of the stocks will receive dividends or share of earnings. So, kung ikaw ay yung investor and then bibili ka ng shares sa isang company or isang institution, institutions, so, Bibigyan ka ng certificates with corporation's name, owner's number of shares, and par value per share. So, yan ang ibibigay sa'yo. Again, pag sinabi nating stocks, so kung ikaw yung investor, uh, bibili ka ng share sa isang company. Okay? So, depende yung uh, kikitain mo sa kita ng company kasi i-divide yung buong kita ng company sa lahat ng shareholders. So, like for example, uh, okay, ito yung mga different terminologies na may encounter nyo all about stocks. So, again, stocks is the share, the ownership of the company. Dividend, that is the share in the company profit. So, ito yung uh, tinatawag nating kita o yung ito yung tawag sa matatanggap mo or let's say that is a profit no dividend per share so this is a ratio of the dividends to the number of shares stock markets this is a place where stocks can be bought or sold so the stock market in the Philippines is governed by the Philippine Stock Exchange so isipin mo na lang na nasa palengke no uh, ito yung kung saan yung lugar na pwede kang buli, bumili at magbenta. So, that is the stock market. So, it's a place kung saan na, nakakabili ka o makakabenta ka ng stocks. Market value, the current price of a stock and which it can be sold. So, if, like for example, no, sa, in a public market, diba, mayroon tayong sinusunod na uh, what we call for the Anong tawag natin sa mga, di ba sa public market, may tinatawag tayong suggested retail price. So, parang uh, kagaya ng market value. Stock yield ratio, so ratio of the annual dividend per share and the market value per share. It also called the current stock yield. And then yung may tinatawag tayong par value, so this is the per share amount. As stated on the company certificate, so makikita ito dapat sa certificate kung ikaw ay investor. Unlike market value, it is determined by the company and remains stable over time. So again, pag sinabi natin par value, this is the per share amount as stated on the company certificate. So this is a sample of stock certificate. So kinuha ko lang to sa net. So nilagay ko dito. So, this is a sample of stock certificate. So, dito makikita nyo na makikita nyo yung certificate number. So, da, makikita nyo yung certificate number. And then, dito makikita natin yung number of shares. So, halimbawa sa company A, merong 1,000 shares. So, dito natin makikita. And also, makikita natin yung name ng corporations. So, yung name ng corporation kung saan ka nag-invest or bumili ng shares. And yung pangalan mo, o, yung pangalan ng shareholders or yung stockholders. 
at kung magkano, kung ilang shares yung meron ka. So, ang wala lang dito, yung hindi nakalagay sa certificate nito, yung par, yung par value of each share. So, dapat nakalagay dito. So, uh, wala akong makita no, na malinaw. Since naghanap ako, wala akong makita na nakalagay yung par value of each share. So, dapat nakalagay dito. And then, dito sa baba, nakalagay dito yung uh, signature. So, nakalagay yung signature of the corporation. No, nakalagay dito sa baba. So, ito yung uh, sample lang no, ng stock certificate. So, makikita mo dyan ulit yung certificate number, yung number, ng share, uh, number of shares, yung name ng corporation, at yung name ng shareholders, at yung bilang no, kung ilang yung shares ng shareholders at yung signature ng corporation. For example, we have a certain financial institution declared a 30 million dividend for the common stocks. If there are a total of 700,000 shares of common stocks, how much is the dividend per share? So, mad kung analyze natin yung problem, so madali lang natin sagutin, no? Kasi, uh, I-divide lang natin yung 30 million na dividend, hati-hatiin natin sa 700 shares. So, yun yung given natin. The total dividend is 30 million and then the number of shares is 700,000. So, para makuha natin kung magkano yung matatanggap, uh, kung pagkano yung hatian per share. So, ang gagawin lang natin, i-divide lang natin yung total dividend sa total share. So, 30 million divided by 700,000, that is 42.86 pesos. So, ibig sabihin, uh, sa bawat share, katumbas nito ay 42 pesos and 86 centavos. So, therefore, the dividend per share is 42.86. For example, number 2. A uh, certain corporation declared a 3% dividend on a stock with a par value of 500 pesos. Mrs. Lingan owned 200 shares of stocks with par value of 500 pesos. How much is the dividend she received? So again, pag sinabi nating par value, that is the share amount as stated on the uh, company certificate. So, ang sabi dito, so magkano ang makukuha ni Mrs. Lingan na meron siyang 200 shares. So, ang amount ng par value is 500 pesos o 3%. So, tingnan natin. So, ang given natin is the dividend percentage natin is 3% and the par value is 500 pesos. The number of shares is 200. So, paano natin kukunin? yung total amount na marireceive ni Mrs. Lingan. So, kunin natin muna yung dividend. So, the dividend per share is 500. So, the par value is 500 pesos times the dividend percentage. And that is 500 times 0 0.03 and that is 15 pesos. So, ibig sabihin, yung, pra, uh, yung amount o yung value ng isang share ay 15 pesos. Since meron siyang 200 shares, so times 15, si Mrs. Lingan makakatanggap ng 3,000 pesos. Or, we can use this uh, formula, the dividend percentage times the par value times the number of shares is also equal to 3,000. So again, so ang matatanggap o yung dividend na matatanggap ni Mrs. Lingan for her 200 shares ay 3,000 pesos. Another, Corporation A with a current market value of 52 pesos gave a dividend of 8 pesos per share for its common stock. And Company B with a current market value of 95 pesos gave a dividend of 12 pesos per share. So use the stock yield ratio to measure how much dividend shareholders are getting in relation to the amount invested. So, isa-isahin natin kunin no, yung uh, dividend para 
makuha natin kung sino yung mas may magandang offer si Corporation A or si Corporation B. So for Corporation A, so ano yung mga given niya? So the dividend per share is 8 pesos with a market value na 52 pesos. So gagamitin natin yung stock yield ratio to measure kung magkano yung dividends, kung magkano yung amount no ng dividend shareholders para makita natin yung amount invested. Okay? So ang gagawin lang natin diyan, i-divide lang natin yung dividend per share divided by the market value. So that is 8 over 52 and that is 0 0.1538. So kailangan natin i-convert into percent and that is 15.38%. So yan yung kay Corporation A. Kay Corporation B naman, so the dividend per share is 12 pesos with a market value of 95 pesos. So same process, so kunin natin yung stock yield ratio nito. That is 12 divide 95 and that is 0 0.1263 or 12.63%. So ibig sabihin nito class, so ibig sabihin Corporation A has a higher stock yield ratio than Corporation B. So, thus, each peso will earn you more if you invest in Corporation A than in Corporation B. So, if all other things are equal, it is wiser to invest in Corporation A. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.